We've all experienced it. You're driving around the valley and then you get stuck just sitting at that red light and it seems like forever before it changes. That's right. It's always when you're late, <laughs> too. We've gotten a lot of feedback on this, so we went behind the scenes to check out Southern Nevada's signal timing. 8 News Now reporter Sasha Loftus spent the day touring the city's traffic management center and she joins us now live at one of those long lights to break it all down for us. Sasha? Denise, yes, this is the intersection here of Las Vegas Boulevard and Circus Circus, one that a lot of people complain about. I timed it a second ago on my phone, and those southbound lanes on the boulevard, drivers had to sit at a red light for about a minute and 45 seconds, which is pretty long. We saw some backup there a while ago. Now, I spoke with quite a few drivers today who tell me traffic lights here are just too long, but the RTC traffic engineer says their signal times across the valley all depend on what time of day you travel. Is the light stuck or what? Time ticks on. Often there's nothing coming, so why can't we keep going? As you're caught watching the clock at another red light. This is real inconvenient. It's a complaint we hear constantly at 8 News Now that's driving you crazy. We will start with a complaint. Matthew writes in, what drives me crazy? Red lights. So how does signal timing work in the valley? And we try to time the signals accordingly to help as many people get through as much as possible. It all comes together here at the RTC's Traffic Management Center. At any point, we can change any of the cameras on this wall. Traffic engineer Teresa Gazer took us on the grand tour. And it always depends on what time of day you're traveling at. I think there's certain expectations that are reasonable. The team is in charge of 1,500 signals across Southern Nevada. We look over here and we can see very clearly that the westbound direction is traveling. They manage movement with metal sensors in the ground, computer signals, and even infrared lights. And we try to continue that pattern along through corridors so that it seems continuous as you're driving along it. Cycles change every one to three minutes, but if you catch a spot while the signal is shifting, you could wait longer. People pushing that pedestrian button slows or stops traffic to let them cross an intersection on foot. Construction also crucial. Lane closures change the intersection flow and cause more backup. But Gazer says no matter how frustrated you feel, never put yourself in danger. We always ask that your patients please don't run red lights. And plan for a longer wait. When you're trying to get somewhere, you know, it might seem longer than it really is. As rush hour hits its daily peak. It is what it is. Just turn up your music a little louder. Now back out here live, the RTC says there are several signals not working properly right now. They're aware of them all and they're working on getting them back on track to get fixed. Now, as I said, construction is also a factor here at this intersection behind me at Las Vegas Boulevard and Circus Circus. That is mainly the cause of the delay you see if you drive through here, especially on that southbound side. Now, the RTC wants to know if you see any intersection that is a longer wait than it should be, you, will, you can email them or call them. We have that information information on our website right now, lasvegasnow.com. Reporting live, Sasha Loftus, 8 News Now.